we're, we're going to start something that is called the Mission Minute, uh, just making you guys aware of the missions that we support or uh, even at times a mission that we just want to highlight that we don't necessarily support as a church uh, uh, financially, but we do support them with our prayers and our encouragement and things like that. And so periodically we'll even be some of ministries that way and we'll let you know. But uh, this month we've been highlighting Hidden Haven Camp and uh, Julia has prepared a missions minute. We were going to do it at the beginning, but uh, I, like I said, I wasn't prepared. So J Julia, if you want to come up. You got that one on, Carrie? This one's on. Okay, I'm gonna put some on. All right, um, yeah, so like he said, we've been um, focusing on Hidden Haven this month, and Eric came a couple weeks ago and shared some information with you guys about that. We've had our table in the back set up for um, if you want to register your student um, for any of those camps. So we've been uh, really trying to focus on that this month. And then today, I just wanted to share with you a couple of things that you can do. So um, now you've learned about it a little bit. Um, so I want to share three things that you can do um, to help with Hidden Haven. So first, I think, um, I think Mike actually mentioned this a couple weeks ago that um, they do their Pack the Pantry. Our church participates in that every year, and that's where um, you guys will sign up to bring things to provide for the camp. That helps keep the cost down. Um, it helps our church to be involved in being able to um, support them in that way. So Jane has made a sign up, right? Yes, there's a sign up back there. Uh, so you can sign up for the things that you would like to provide. And then just if you could bring those as soon as possible, but sometime within the next month probably. And then we'll take those things um, the very first week that we go to camp. So we'll take those things with us. So if you could sign up for those, that's one way that you could help, one thing that you could do. Um, a second thing is they also need volunteers um, for cooking um, and helping in the kitchen during, during camp. So um, if you have a free day um, that you would like to be able to help, it's really great. You can go um, see the camp and be able to be there with the kids and um, help serve in that way um, by helping in the kitchen. They would really greatly appreciate that. So um, I think you can probably let us know, let myself or Jane know, um, and we can and find a date that will work for you um, if you'd like to do that. Um, and then the third thing that you can do, you can do um, now, you can do during camp, you can do, do after camp is definitely be praying, um, praying for the students who will be attending camp this year, that their hearts would be um, moved and that they would be um, lights uh, for Jesus as well, um, praying for them during camp, after camp, especially when they return home, it's really hard um, when you've had a really great week at camp and uh, then going home. And then also for the ministry year-round, they do more than just camps, um, as you know, uh, and year-round for the different events that they host and also just for the workers um, at the camp and um, at Hidden Haven, the people who are there year-round and the people who are there um, just off, off and on. So those are three ways that you can help Hidden Haven. All right, thanks, Julia. And so Hidden Haven Camp is our, what we're highlighting this uh, month. But we're going to double down today because one of the things that's going to happen periodically is we're going to need to highlight uh, something else that's going on with one of our ministries. And it just so happens that this is Action Sunday for Cara, which is why we have all the pictures of the little ones uh, back here to back. But uh, Sean and Jane, were you guys going to show us a oh, video, right? Okay. If you want to show that. What is joy? It is knowing that despite the circumstances, God is good. He's on the throne and he is up to something beautiful. James 1-2 reminds us to count it all joy when we fall into various trials in life. And the people of Haiti are no stranger to trials. But God is faithful even in unprecedented times. And as his people, we are called higher because we know he is on the throne and still up to something good in Haiti. If you've ever been to Kara, you quickly realize that even though you came to serve, you're surrounded by a living example of Jesus' servant heart. You'll see the kindness of our staff members and the smiles of our children, the future leaders of Haiti who possess the joy of the Lord. You'll see a smile like Meraldine's. 
Marilene is a 10-year-old little girl who joined Kara's Grace Orphanage in 2019. For over 20 years, God's grace has guided Kara's compass to serve Haiti's northern region of Gonaives. Kara not only provides a home for the forgotten children, but helps shape them into future leaders. $30 a month covers the needs of one child or can keep another in school. Our Christian schools impart an enriching education and secures jobs for teachers and education professionals in our community. $45 a month ensures that our schools stay open and our teachers are paid even during government shutdowns or strikes. Through evangelism, we seek out the lost and share the love and joy that comes from Christ Jesus. $50 a month will help plant church buildings and foster community as God's body continues to grow. Kara's medical ministry is driven by God's healing hand. $30 a month will help build our third medical clinic or keep our existing ones open five days a week. A donation of $50 a month can provide for our mobile clinics that goes out into Haiti's most remote regions with quality medical care. There's so much more God has in store for Haiti. From a slab of sheetrock to a school uniform, our prayer for everyday life in our Kara family is tied to the transformative power His joy brings. And your generosity is an integral part of that story. It's tied to lives who live for Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, let us not grow weary in well-doing. When we count on Jesus instead of our coffers, we are reminded of the unshakable foundation He's placed in our hearts. Join us as we continue to count on Him. When we action out His love, we bring heaven down, one that creates a new generation of God's kingdom in Haiti. Help us serve His people in Haiti as we spread His good news, His faithfulness, His love, His joy. There's no family like the one we have in Him. Become a part of Kara's story today. Well, we love our Haiti uh, Kara ministry there, and uh, so just lots of ways uh, to get involved. <laughs> I know what that's like, trying to hit that button. Uh, lots of ways to get involved, and so uh, there's pictures back here and, and some information back here, and Jane and Sean are here to answer any of you guys' questions. Um, and I know there's several people in our church that already support, like, a, a child, you know, for all of their school needs and, and health needs and stuff like that, some of our orphan children. So there's just a lot of things um, that you can do to be involved if you want to. If you'll 